It's Friday night. It's already dark. Uh, this is a new trail to me. And your screen name, your username is 330J Fox. 330J Fox. He's the guy who found. Actually, he's the guy that went up to the the Baldy Bowl and looked in that book. Tried to look in that book to see the clue I left, but somebody had stolen the book. But he made a videotape of himself doing it. So <laughs> I'm gonna honor it and give him his Leatherman finally. But we're up here at Eaton. What Eaton? Eden Canyon. Eden Canyon. Pasadena, Altadena, California. Altadena, Pasadena, California. We're going up to some old toll road. I've seen it in the books. I've never been to it. It's an old toll road, and we're going to follow this toll road to some pines. I'm going to hang a hammock, spend the night back here. Look at Here's one of those millipedes I always tell you guys about. Like I see in Bear Creek. He's not as big, but look at it. It's the same kind. The ones over there are like a blood red. Anyway, this road was built by what? Chinese and what? Uh, what Irish. The Irish. Chinese and the Irish. Late 1800s to early 1900s. You can take this all the way to Mount Low and the observatory yep. back in the day. It's an old There's another one of those things. Look at that. The things you see at night. Okay, we've reached Henniger Flats, County of Los Angeles, Fire Department, Forestry Division. Dogs must be unleashed, no hunting. Boil your water. Now I'm gonna shut the light off and show you Wilson. back there. That's Mount Wilson. We've got a little ways to go okay, yet. Okay, Fuji. We're almost there. These campgrounds actually have bins where the forestry takes down trees and cuts them and supplies the camps with free firewood. It's amazing. So obviously you're allowed fires back here. There's a 24 hour fireman right down at the base of these camps. This, there's three campgrounds. He says this is where all the deer come up in the morning. So this is why we picked this area. This area he says is where the forestry plants a bunch of uh, pine trees just there's a lot of pine trees right here and as they need them elsewhere They'll uproot the small ones and take them and plant them another place. They do that is over in recon over by the four-wheel drive area um, Just before you get to the West Fort parking lot You can even volunteer time there with the forestry um, planting they'll take you places them you plant trees and You learn stuff from those guys Ask Lois Pickens at the gateway to the San Gabriel. She'll set you up. Okay, check this out. The ULA circuit. You've probably seen this before, especially if you uh, watch Suge's videos. But I made a deal with these guys. And uh, well, actually, it's somebody that has, has had, had this backpack. I'm going to send him a product. Actually, seven products. And he, he sent me this. But he sent me it in camouflage. Something new. Check that out. A camouflage circuit. It's a little bit bigger than the Go Light. I think the Go Light has 23 cubic inches. This is 41 at a pound more. Rattlesnake signs everywhere. This is going to be a place I'm coming back to this summer. I'm going to round up about 50 or 60 of them, take them over there into the uh, oh, East thanks, Fork brother. and stock. Awesome. <laughs> stock the canyon. Okay, here's what I brought. Everything's in here except for the tarp. This is what he brought. You guys recognize this, Nemo, but mine usually says Nemo Meta 2. This is a different Nemo. The Nemo. It's called the Mio, but Mio. the new one is called the, I forget what it's called. It's a uh, Soto, so I forget what it's called. Anyway, this says the Air Beam Supported Bivy. Super cool, look at that. Your size. Look at there's my hand. I'd say it's about. It can, it'll compress smaller too. It's about six. It's I'd six say by six by eleven. I think is what they say. Six by eleven. By. I'd say it's about a about a six inch diameter by eleven. Anyway, look at his sleeping bag is bigger than his tent. <laughs> That's a uh, the Marmot uh, Sawtooth 15. Now. The thing I came, I finally met you, and the thing I want to give you is 
<laughs> for looking for it going to that that's for just going perfect to the, that's just for going up to that thing and looking through the book see, see how easy it is to get a letterman off me um thank you for posting the challenge you're welcome man <laughs> awesome so we're gonna set up here i'm gonna set up over there between some trees and i'm gonna have that as a view cool the city lights as a view he's got the jet foil there i just brought my snow peak in the the team, the solo, the REI solo kit. I'm having pasta primavera. And you had what? I had uh, spicy noodles, egg noodles. Spicy noodles. With uh, I throw beef jerky in inside of it, so it gives a little protein, extra protein. Sh See, here's the the stoves that comes with the, the heater thing. Cause they they give you wood like this for free. Look at this tent, though. Top. This is that Nemo. It's not the one I thought, but it's the bigger, it's the deluxe one. See that? The, the Nemo inflatable air beam holds it up. This is the one you can actually sit up in and read a book or sit up in and get dressed, whatever. The other one comes down to about here. I think it's 18 inches. This one's got way more room. I'm going to take you over and show you uh, the view we got from up here. We're just underneath Mount Wilson. I don't want to walk off the edge here. Let me see. Look at that view. Look at that. Looking out this way, you got Dana Point, I mean Long Beach, and uh, Catalina would be off that way. You got LA over here, downtown. Okay, check this out. This is a quilt. There's no bottom to this quilt. The top quilt. The last two and a half, three feet of the foot box has snaps on the bottom. You just put your feet in. Pull it up over you. A lot of in a sleeping bag for a hammock. And then it's got a snap here, a snap on the other side. It snaps around your neck, and you have a drawstring. So we'll see how I'll show you I'm gonna shut this light off and show you the view I have right through the screen here. Okay, this is right through the screen. Look at see if you can make it out. That's downtown Los Angeles. I'm way above it. I'm in my hammock. The tarp's over me. That's a look through off the right side of my feet. Through the mesh screen. So see you in the morning. It's 5.09 in the morning. And this is Pasadena, Los Angeles. Long Beach, the beach cities. Uh, moon's still out. But this is the view from where we camped. In the morning, we'll try to point out familiar land site, uh, landmarks so you can see where we are. Sign up, we're gonna start down. Look at that. Here's the Nemo from the back. I think these go for like 400 um, new. Yeah. He got it for what, on eBay? Yeah, paid just under 100 bucks for it. Under $100. Just like new too. No poles. Air beam technology they call it. Oh, uh, you have a pump to pump it up with, right? Yeah, it's a billow bag they call it. Nemo refers to this as a billow bag. So you put air in here and then this pumps it into here. It's about 20, 20 squeezes, 20 breaths maybe in it. 
It pumps right up literally in seconds. 20 breaths. Fill the beam. It's about a two, two inch diameter air beam. Held up to Baldy wind. <laughs> yeah, you use this on a summit of Baldy. A couple weekends after I did my my last one. Look at this. He's got those sausage. That's those so that I mean, that's regular sausage. Uh, he's got some egg added to it. But um, these are those hash browns in the carton that you add the They're water to. Hungry meal or hungry? Hungry Jack. Hungry Jack, that's what you it is. You put them in the hungry, you put the water in the hungry Jack. It's like the ones I sent to Camp Baza. Um, put it in there, boiling water in there, and you let it sit for five minutes. Then you stir them up, and then you just gotta, you just have to grill them a little bit just to give them that grilled look and texture. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. Look at sausage, eggs, hash browns. Now if you look over here, I've got the hash browns, scrambled eggs, mixed pork sausage, pepper, and onions. And the coffee. <laughs> Doesn't smell anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's the sun gonna be coming up over... Uh, Claremont, or not Claremont, uh, is that... Um... That big hill out there, it'd be, like, it'd be Saddleback out that way? That's, uh, yeah, th so you're talking uh, Cleveland National Forest. Here's yeah. one more look at his tent before he takes it down. Against that background. How tall are you, like six foot? Six foot. Six uh, foot. My, I normally put my bag at the tail end of it and it helps like keep it full. Yeah. So I don't have to use all the guide outs. So I put my bag at the bottom of it and it fits perfectly and then I sleep up top and then I still have room to put my goodies and stuff right in here, my little lights or whatever. Usually I put my... Pretty neat, you got this little bathtub floor for when it rains, he can keep everything dry, you know? A little bug net, see the stars, or if it rains, you know, close that up, wind. But like he said, this unclips, goes back with this out, with this like this, that'll unclip and go back. Yeah, you can take this. Thing. This vestibule comes down. Like this, and then you bring the... And he can cook right here. Cook right in here. You cook right here, look at that, with the vestibule. You got about three and a half feet across by about three and a half feet this way, by about uh, three and a half feet high. See, with this, you just put your feet in, pull it up around you, then in back of you, snap it, clip that, and you've got a drawstring. And it's by Hammock Gear. So it's a lot easier to get in and out of in the middle of the night. Or to adjust around. Adjust. I, can, I slept on my side. I was totally warm last night. Here's the toggles working. See the... These, uh, a few of these are called something slings. Just go over the toggle. They don't come off, but when you're done, just pull out the toggle. No, not. Then the Dutch clip. No knots at all. Okay. It is 7.35, start date 1.5.13. <laughs> this is the pack all packed up. Everything's inside now. I have nothing in here. I have my tripod in here. This one right here is empty. Uh, he's got a drawstring here that can close that. You can, there's another guy that's got a review on this. You can check it out. The circuit. There's some guy that's got a review on this. Um, you just twist the ice axe holes and put your trekking poles in there and clasp up. So everything's in there except my camera. Okay, here's what we're looking at here. If you look way out here, let's see if I can get with the camera. Let's see. Uh, no, because of the... Yeah, there you go. Center of the screen. Going across. Center of the screen. That's Catalina. Back off over here. Now right out there, 
Get downtown Los Angeles. See that? Hollywood be just Hollywood would be northwest of that. Then out here you got Griffith Park Observatory right there. And then that hill right there is where the five goes along, it goes out to Glendale. LA Zoo would be just around this corner that way. You can see our smoke. Our fire's almost out. Here's a closer look at the campsite. Look at between these trees. That's where I was. You have water here, but there's signs you must boil it. Rattlesnake signs everywhere. See this thing is a little bit above your waist. You got a bench. You got this. There's the size firewood. It's free for the picking. As much as you want. You got this. Lifts up. Get your fire inside. He said he lays fire. Uh, why do you do it? You lay foil right I lay here. Foil right over the top of it. I do the put foil here. Cook my meat on top of that, and because it gets so hot right there. He, what do you cook on there? You cook steaks and put, pulled uh, pork. I and do pulled pork and uh, brisket on there, and then throw some, uh, Swiss cheese over the top. I do ciabatta breads right here with the foil. Foil with his bread. Yeah. And just puts the meat on top. Yeah, it's all. It's good. Smoke comes out here. You got spark arrestor. Yeah. Well, that's good chow right See, here. Here's a little corral. The firemen come, fireman, and he drops off the wood. This is all fallen trees in the area. Nothing's new. These are all falling, rotted trees. Rather than just let them rot in the woods, they pick them up and they drop them off here. And this is for you to use. Pretty cool. Here's where you are. You got this Altadena, Sierra Madre, Pasadena. Come up here. Number 26, parked right in this area. This bridge is closed at night. So we hiked through this riverbed here. Came up and caught this road. Hiked up this, so switch back a little bit. And then dropped down over here. We're in these Henniger Flats in between Idle Hour. You got Mount Wilson Observatory right there. So everything's all in this area. The canyon we're just looking down in is right in here. Be aware of rattlesnakes. There's some guys down here. Got three tents, a war bonnet, blackbird, and a Hennessy. This is in a lower campground than we were in. We were in the upper one. Look at this. Water for horses, hitch trail. This is, uh, this is where the road. fire fighter. Stays 24 hours, lives here. One, right? Yep, one. They, they alternate like a daily, every day or something. They alternate, but there's one up here at all times because of the fires. He wants to make sure it's all yeah, kept under control. Oh, there's no mine. Look at that. Yep. There's no mine car left over from the day. Look at this. Got an old cedar, like a little house on the prairie. Got you some old cans. See that mine car there? Yeah. Uh, we snuck into the uh, we snuck into the Calico Ghost Mine at night, about one in the morning, and we went above it, underneath the A. There's a mine shaft. We went down, and we found some mine cars like that. Really? Found some old 1904 Sears and Roebuck catalogs. Oh. Some uh, candle lanterns that actually held the candle in their head. Look at this. And back there, you got some more. These are left over from Mount Low in the Mount Low days when they did all the mining. This is a museum. It's not open right now. We're going to stick around for a little while. Hopefully they open another mine car. Hankton Flats. Here's an old fire lookout. Still, still in place. Piece fire lookout. 1925 to 1971. Elevation 2824. Located in the Santa Monica Mountains. I've been to that one on that mash hike that I did. Mount Low Railway, one man and a mule, railway at Inspiration Point. Inspiration Point Shelter, 1924-1960, rebuilt 1996. Look at that. One man and a mule did all that.
some more old stuff. First house, Briggs Terrace, no, Terrade, 1875. Look at this, 1875, guys. A shoe horse, a horseshoe. Some old tobacco tin nail to it. Look at this. This is the guest room, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's the old guest room. <laughs> 1875. Still here. Look at all the woodpecker marks all the way up. This is where the fire guy lives. You can see back here, they're planting all new pine trees. This has got, what, three, four, maybe five years on them. Back here, they got some that got maybe two or three years. Over here, there's some that are about a year old. They're constantly growing them to put them in other places. It's, they've got their own garden here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of trees back there. Probably less than a year old. About a hundred of them. Looking through the, a dirty window. Looking out a dirty old window. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of birds right there. Stripe one looks like a road runner. I see some quail, some doves. There's an old owl. I doubt they killed him. They probably found him dead. There's a badger. Barking badger. <laughs> there's some old cars back there. Foxes. Raccoons, possums. There's a bear back there in the corner. Fortunately, it's not open at this time. I'll have to come back here another Look time. Here you can see all the way over there. The Glendale. Those high rise buildings over there. See our cars right there. He just pointed out we can. We're a little ways down now. We can make out our cars parked by the side of the road. Let's see. It's my truck and then your car right there. Huh? I see someone's parked next to me. Here's his truck. Somebody next to him. My car would be right there, right there center of the screen. <laughs> This is the Arcadia Mall. It's under the screen. We've decided we were we had decided on just throwing some lines over these and zip lining down. <laughs> but I don't think we can reach them. Let's see what that ride would be like. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome! <laughs> yeah. You'd be hauling ass. <laughs> You'd be free falling right in that one area. Yeah. But they're probably 30 feet above us. Look at that terrain though down here. Look at that, how steep that canyon walls are. There it is. Small waterfall. Four or five feet. Goes down under this bridge. This bridge goes to the trailhead with a gate. See the gate up there. Here's the gate. Bar bar at the top. It was locked last night. That's why we came in the way we came. But normally you'd come down there through here, cross this bridge and take off. That back there goes to the Eaton Canyon Falls. There it is. Eaton Canyon Falls, half mile. Here's Next the time. water that's coming down from Eaton. Now, I don't see any trout, any sign of fish here. But that's not to say that above the falls there might be some somewhere. But those falls are dangerous. People fall, break their face, break their backs, break their arms, legs. In fact, I think a few people have even died. Yeah, last year somebody died. We're almost back to the car now. This is the way we came through last night. Oh, 
Deep in the canyon. There's my car. Midwick Drive and I'll have to Dean's drive. To Dean Drive. We parked right here. Or you can also park if you get here before sundown, you can park at Pinecrest in Altadena. Before sundown, you can go up here to Pinecrest and make a right and there's a gate. Well, congratulations on winning leather, man. Thank you, sir. Thanks for showing me this. So again, your, your username was 330J Fox. And your name? Jason. Jason 330J Fox. So I'll put a link to his uh, channel below mine and you can check this out. You have a good, have a good weekend. You too, man. You be safe. Make sure and show your kid. I oh, definitely.